Hi, I'm Susan Rutledge, and in this video, I'm going to show you two time-saving tips I came up with to help me quickly create same but different art brushes in Adobe Illustrator. You can look at the left side of my screen to see what I'm talking about. I have leaves that are the same size, and each one has a slight difference. I use those to create designs for art brushes that, again, are the same size, but slightly different. In the first tip, I'm going to be using the Symbols panel, and in the second tip, I'll be using the Brushes panel. You're not going to want to miss either one of these, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to need is a leaf. To make that first leaf, I'll get the Ellipse tool from the left toolbar. Click on the artboard to open the ellipse dialog box. I'll leave these settings 0.35 inches for the width, 0.85 inches for the height, and say OK. I'll change the stroke size to two points, and I want to add a point to this top anchor. So I'll get the anchor point tool coming over to the left toolbar. Press down on the pen tool for the flyout menu. Here's the anchor point tool, keyboard shortcut, shift C, and I'll click on this anchor and then I want to move the anchor up so I'll get the direct selection tool and click on the anchor then go to object transform move I don't want to move the anchor horizontally I want to move it up vertically to move it up I've got to type in a negative value which is going to be minus 0 0.05. Just note that if I wanted the anchor point to go down, I would type in 0 0.05. So we'll leave the setting here, everything else the same, and say OK. Next, I need a little stem for my leaf. I'll get the line segment tool on the left toolbar. Click on the artboard so I can type in the values. I'm going to use 0.25 inches for the length and leave this at 90 degrees and say OK. And then get the selection tool. It's kept that two point setting from the leaf, which is what I want. So I'm going to move the leaf and place it on top of that stem. And uh, it's kind of being stubborn here. I think I'm going to select both of these. Come to the properties panel in the alignment area and click horizontal align center. That looks good. So I'll group these object group or command G. Now this one leaf is the only leaf I'm going to have to make, but I'll turn it into a symbol. So I'll go to window and choose the symbols panel. And all I have to do is click on the new symbol icon on the bottom bar I'll change the name to leaf. This is going to be a graphic and it's a static symbol. I'll say OK. And Illustrator adds the leaf to my symbols panel. So I can actually delete the one that's on my artboard and we're going to use this symbol from now on. So I'll press down and drag it out onto the artboard and hold down the option key and drag out a copy. Even the copy is a symbol. Now the thing to know is that when I make changes to a symbol on the artboard, they're going to be reflected in the symbols panel. And that's the beauty of this and how you're able to make all these changes so easily. Now I'm going to rotate this leaf here. So I'll get the rotate tool. That's keyboard shortcut R. I'll hover over the bottom of the stem press the option key down and after I've got that option key down I'm going to click with my mouse and that is opening the rotate dialog box. The reason I do that is so I can type in exactly the angle that I want and there's no guesswork. So I'll type in 45 degrees and say OK. The last thing I've got to make for the branch is the long stem. So we'll get the line segment tool again, click on the artboard, and this one's going to be three inches, leave everything else the same, and say OK. And then I'm going to drag this over, and it looks lined up perfectly, so I'll leave that there. Drag this leaf over, 
And before I move this up next to my stem, I'm going to come back over and click on the word stroke and change the cap to round cap. That's this center icon that sometimes helps these match up a little better. So we'll move this next to the long branch and you can adjust the spacing however you want. And that looks good. I'll leave it there. And now I'm going to hold down the option key to make a copy and I'll hold down the shift key so that I'm dragging right along that branch. And when I have the spacing, like I want it, I'll release my mouse, but I'm not going to deselect the leaf because I'll duplicate that move two more times with the keyboard shortcut, Command D and Command D. I have the left side created. I'll select these leaves and I'm going to reflect the leaves on the right side. So I'll get the reflect tool. It's behind the rotate tool on the left toolbar. So I'll press down and choose reflect tool. It's keyboard shortcut O. I'll hover with my mouse over the long stem. I want to be exactly on it. And I see the word path, so I know I'm there. And I'll hold the Option key down and then click down with my mouse. The reason I do that, even though the leaves move the way I want, is because I might have had a different setting here. But more importantly, I want to make a copy rather than just reflecting the leaves. So I'll leave vertical selected, but I'm going to come down and press Copy. And that then gives me my full branch. I'll get the Selection tool and select this entire design and group it. Object, Group, that's keyboard shortcut, Command G. And then before I make my art brush, I'm going to rotate the entire branch. So again, we'll get the Rotate tool. This time, having the rotate ball in the center is going to be fine, but I'll hold the shift key down because that snaps the rotation in 45 degree increments. And when I have a 90 degrees rotation, I'll release my mouse. I'm ready to create the art brush now. So I'll come up to Window and choose Brushes. I've eliminated the brushes that came with Illustrator that I knew I wasn't going to use. So you probably have a few more brushes than I have. To create the art brush with the design selected, I'll come down to the bottom bar and click on the new brush icon. I'll choose art brush and say OK. Then it's going to be important for you to give each of these art brushes a name because it's going to be hard to tell some of them apart in the brushes panel. I'm going to name this one line leaf brush. The reason being this leaf doesn't have a fill color and I'll change the scale options to stretch between guides. I'll drag the right dotted line to just below the bottom leaf with this setting as I'm using this art brush. As I draw out my design, Illustrator is going to leave these leaves at exactly this same size and make any extension in length between these dotted lines. So that's why I use this stretch between guides. Make sure the direction is pointed to the right. On the colorization, I'm going to change this to tense and I'll say OK. And here is my first art brush. Now to change the design for the next art brush, all I have to do is change the symbol. So I'll come down to the symbols panel. The leaf is already selected. I'll click on the hamburger menu and choose edit symbol. I move into an isolation mode. I'm going to add a stem so I'll get the line segment tool and just draw in a stem and then move out of the isolation mode. And notice as I've changed the symbol here, Illustrator has changed the symbol in my design. So let's move this up out of the way and then I'll hold the Option key down and create a copy. Now this next step is really important. Select the top design, go to Object, and expand. I have object fill and stroke checked and I'll say OK. 
The reason I do that is I don't want this design to change before I make it into an art brush. So I'll come back down to the symbols panel, click on the hamburger menu again, edit the symbol, and I'll come to the properties panel. Let's select it first. And we're going to fill this with black and then move out of the isolation mode. And this design is now changed. So I'm going to make a copy of it and then come back and we're going to expand this design. Now only this design will change. So come back, select the leaf, edit the symbol. I'll select the leaf again and we're going to change the fill to white, leaving the stem in here move out of isolation and hard to tell with the white background but this leaf does have a white fill. I will make a copy, expand this one and for the last one we're going to remove that stem so I'll edit the symbol again, select just that little stem delete it, move out of isolation, and the leaf is changed. I have a white fill leaf here, and we are ready to create the art brushes. Now I've got the first art brush here. I'm going to select it. I'll come up to the top right corner, click on this little hamburger menu, and choose duplicate brush. Then I'll select this second brush, Select the design I want to turn into an art brush. Hold down the Option key and drag this and place it on top of this second brush. Now it opens up the Art Brush Options dialog box. So we'll add with stem. Everything else is exactly like the first one, so I'll say OK. Now another important thing, click on the artboard to deselect this sample. In fact, you can actually delete it. And I'll select this art brush, go back up to the menu, duplicate brush, select this one, grab the next design, hold down the option key, drag it here, and I'm going to put black leaf brush doesn't have a stem that you can see. Everything else is all there for me, so I can delete this design. Then we'll make a copy of this, duplicate the brush, select this one, select the design, hold the Option key down, drag this in. We're going to change this to white leaf with stem and say OK, delete that design, copy the brush, select that brush, select the design, hold down the Option key, drag this over, and this is just going to be a white leaf brush, and say OK, and delete that. And within a short amount of time, I've created five art brushes with the same characteristics as the first one I made, but I didn't have to type all of the details in five times, only once. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned some things about using the Symbols panel and the Brushes panel in Adobe Illustrator. And even if you're not making same but different art brushes like I was, I believe you can apply some of these same ideas to projects you're working on. Now, before I go, I do want to invite you to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tutorials. I'm going to look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.